I would break off like you do, but I think they will ban it. I'm not saying they should ban it. I think they'll ban it. That's what I think. And I, and I would, especially if it went to a decider against someone who knocks balls in like you or Judd, I'd definitely break off like that. Mm. Mm. How, can they ban, how can they ban a perfectly legal shot? Uh, I don't know. Are they, they going to stop banning rolling up in boat colours or when the white goes behind the black? Or? But they've asked players, haven't they, what they think about it? Yeah, so they are thinking about it. Well, they sent uh, an email out asking players what they think about it. I mean, get on with it. What did you it's, say? Get, get on with it. It's worth, <laughs> worth Have saying, you replied to the email? Uh, well... <laughs> There's a lot worse things happening than worrying about my poxy break-off. Yeah. I'll on. tell you yeah. what, Anthony Hamilton said this morning in the commentary, I thought it was interesting, he didn't like it, but he did say one thing. He said, very often, after three or four shots, the black stays open. So that's a good thing about the break-off, isn't it? The black doesn't get tied up so readily, you know? Yeah, it does, but it's not that. Just count how many frames that they've lost today from someone's break-off. Uh, it's happening all the time. It, it ain't going to happen against me. Mm. Oh. Um, the reason to do it isn't because, you know, you leave a red on in the modern game against sort of the likes of Judd Trump, he's just absolutely devilish. It, it was mainly when I played in the Masters, I played pretty good break-offs, got the white tight, left the red out, and Murphy was just banging him in for fun. Yeah. Had a few breaks and then it was come close, and I thought, I'm not, do not doing that again, and I just rolled off into the pack. And I thought, you know, that's the way forward, really. Yeah. Three shots is back to a normal frame. The black's never tied up. I'm the quickest man on tour. Mm. Uh, my average frame time can't be more than 15, 12 to 15 minutes. So yeah. I, I just, I think it's, it, it's a problem. It's, it's no problem there, you know? Oh, but, yeah. I mean, it, 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 you, you make a very good point. It'd be a li it's a little bit like, given the way he plays, the speed he plays at, how attacking he is at the moment. It's a bit like complaining about Game of Thrones and then watching Last of Summer Wine. It, yeah. <laughs> the, the only thing is, uh, maybe if... It could end up every player on the tour does it, so the start of every frame is going to be... A slow burner, that's just the way that, it, it might I go. I agree with that. It, it could happen, and then you might have a problem, but at the minute, it's only me doing it. Yeah. yeah. Is, is there... I'm just playing devil's advocate. You know my opinion. I've just you said it. I don't think we should break it. I thought Judd Trump, he's against it, and I thought he, he spoke brilliantly, offering the other point of view when he talked to his earth. Completely respectful, by the way. And he, he, he said, look, I, I just feel like Mark, in three hours' practice, would never leave a red on, to paraphrase yeah. him. You know, he, he was like, he wouldn't anyway. And if it adds an extra three, four, five minutes onto every frame over a long match, it's a couple of hours, and Snooker needs to get faster, not slower. Yeah. He was quite erudite in how he talked about it, whether you agree with him or not. Do, do you, can, can, can you see that other side of well, the coin? Well, I know why he want, he wouldn't like it, because he's put long reds and make hundred <laughs> breaks off people's break off for fun. You know, I played him uh, a few times in the Championship League, just gone, you know. Yeah. I must have broke off, I don't know, just say seven, eight times. He didn't put a ball off mine. Mm. Well, we showed him, uh, actually, we started off, we showed him knocking in a long red off of, against Liam Highfield today. To be fair, I, he walked in here, he didn't know what I was going to show him, did he? Yeah. So he, he hadn't said anything bad, he just he offered an opinion based on, I asked him, what, what do you think? And he said he wouldn't do it. He said he thought he breaks off and he doesn't leave much. So he wasn't having a dig at all, I'll tell you that now. But, you know, he just sees it a different way, a bit like what you're saying. If everyone does it, then it mm. doesn't change anything. That's kind of all he was saying. Yeah, he didn't say anything bad. It's all about opinions. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm sick and tired of leaving a red on and people potting in and making breaks, you know? And I just thought, I've got to find a way to stop them doing it, which, which I have. I'd also like to see the raw data. It hasn't happened enough. You need it to happen a lot more before you can sit down and go, does it unequivocally make frames longer? Because Jimmy White made the point, when you break off like that, you, 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 don't, you don't obscure the black. No, the, the only so problem... So when you do get in, the mm. black's free. Always free, but the only problem you've got is when you do it, within three shots, it's back to a normal frame. Yeah. yeah. But then, w when you play off the side, someone should play up the balk. If they just keep rolling back into the bunch, there's nothing you can do, yeah. you know, you're just going to be tipped up in. But, yeah. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan, and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.